Question number 8. The numbers in this sequence increase by 10 each time. The sequence continues in the same way. And what we've got to do is write two numbers from the sequence that add to make a total of 96. Now you can see that any two of these numbers from the sequence we've got so far would be far too small and it wouldn't add up to 96. So we're going to have to continue the sequence. So we've got 3 plus 10 to 13 plus 10 to 23, another 10 to 33, 43, 53, 63, 73, 83 and so on 93 now what we've got to do is write two numbers from the sequence that add to make a total of 96 now there are more than one answer there is more than one answer to this question so for example if you choose 93 to make 96 that's going to pair up with this number 3 because 93 and 3 makes 96 so you could have 3 and 93. However, if you move to the next number in from the start of the sequence and the next number down from the end of the sequence, you'll notice that 13 and 83 also makes 96. So you could have 13 and 83. You could actually move to the next number in from the start and the next number down from the end, 23 and 73 also makes 96. So you can see that there's lots of different answers for this. One more just for good measure, we could do 33 and 63 also makes 96 and you could also have the two right in the middle 43 and 53 which I'll just pop up the top there because we've run out of room. So any pair of those numbers would be a good answer to this question because it would all make 96 but you can see what I'm about to do first is to actually write out more numbers in the sequence to give me more numbers to choose from for the second part of the question it says explain why it is not possible to find three numbers from the sequence that add to make a total of 96 well that one's quite easy to explain you can see that every single number has a units digit of three units digit 3, units digit 3, units digit 3 and so on they all have a units digit of 3 so because they all have a units digit of 3 when you add 3 of them together think about what this would give you if they've all got a unit digit of 3 3 lots of a unit digit of 3 would actually make 9 so you would get a unit digit of 9 so you could make 99 but not 96 and that's all you need to say because they all end in threes when you have three of the numbers together you're going to end up with a unit digit of nine and you can see that it's going to not be possible to make 96